Hi pet lovers, thank you for joining Gina's Grooming Channel and thank you for joining us on another episode of our vlog where we discuss grooming industry subjects, mostly for aspiring groomers, but if you're a pet owner and are interested, welcome. So today's subject is inspired by one of the grooming forums I'm part of, and it has come up in real life time and time again, which is uh, the difference between grooming definitions. And what I mean by this is that certain groomers and different groomers may define things in grooming a little differently depending on where you are and who you're working with. And this also carries over to our clients because if they are used to a service being called something, right, by one groomer, when they go ahead and come to you, for a service offering, they may be expecting something that is not part of your service offering in this definition. So let's go ahead and talk about the most common one, right? So I'm going to go ahead and split grooming into the two main buckets of service. I know it's a much bigger nut than that, but the two main options for grooming services are baths, right? So bathing a dog and then some actions within that. We'll talk about that. And then haircuts. So grooming the dog, giving the dog a full haircut after you've done a bath and then some things in between that. So we're going to go ahead and look at those definitions, how they differ, what I've seen out there in the field and what you can expect. Now, why is this important to understand that different groomers define things differently? Um, the, there's really three main reasons. Well, two big ones, um, which is obviously customer service. You want to make sure that your customers get what they asked for. Uh, so you really want to make sure that you communicate with them saying, okay, you've asked for a bath. These are the items that are included in the shop that I'm working at here. Um, and so that the owner really understands what those um, service op options are and what they're going to be receiving. And it's also important to communicate this with clients so that upon scheduling, right, they are going to schedule the proper service. And why is this important is that if you have a dog scheduled for a bath, right, and it's coming in on a specific time uh, and you have an hour scheduled for this dog and let's say it's a 120 pound Bernadoodle and the owner comes in and says, you know, I changed my mind. I want it to get a haircut that's really going to throw off your day. You may not be able to service that customer. So really important to communicate upon scheduling what exactly the customer is requesting, right? And communicate what your service offering is in part of your definition, how you define it. And so that you can go ahead and explain that to the customer. And then lastly, um, it depends. Now, this one depends on how you are running your salon. So if you are in a salon that you divide your labor, so you have bathers and you have groomers, so people who can do baths and certain tasks, and then you have people who can do haircuts and certain tasks, um, you have this division of labor. And so when you're scheduling, uh, you want to make sure that that pet is scheduled with the right person that is authorized to do and trained to do certain tasks. So uh, I'm going to just kind of back up a little bit before we jump into those two buckets that we're going to talk about. But let's just take a word, look at the word groom. Um, and this is a little bit misleading in general. And I just wanted to mention that because uh, we are groomers, right? People go to the grooming salon to get their dogs groomed. Uh, they take their dog to the park after uh, the grooming session and the people are like, wow, your dog looks great. And they're like, right, it just got groomed. But it doesn't mean that the dog got a haircut. It just means it went to the grooming salon and there were services done on the dog, usually the minimum is a bath. Um, and so the confusing part is, is that a lot of groomers will define their two buckets, right? As in baths, so baths only, and then they'll say, and then grooms, okay? And I've worked at places where that's how it's been defined. So you have your bath and your groom, um, and this can kind of throw off clients as well because they're thinking, well, I scheduled a groom, uh, you know, so, but they're just going to get a bath if they ask for that. So basically there's a little bit of confusion that sometimes, um, a groom to a client is just a bath only and to a groomer that might be a full service groom, which is what I now uh, call it so that people know that a full service groom includes all of this, uh, in this bucket. So let's talk about those two buckets because within those buckets, different groomers define things differently. Uh, so let's take first the bath bucket. So the bath normally includes, and this is what I've seen in the field, right? Which is a thorough bath. Now, sometimes you have to pre-brush, they're pre tasks Sometimes you have to pre de shed But the basic, basic function of a bath is that you are going to go ahead, wet the pet down, soap them up really great, right? Towel dry them, then give them a blow dry, right? So blow off their hair, make sure you get that dander, all that off, give them a wonderful blow dry dry, you're going to give them a brush out. 
and then normally with a bath service that I've seen out there, not everybody does this, um, is that it also includes nail clipping and ear cleaning. And that's pretty much about it for a bath. Now within the bath, you also have dematting, anything that kind of follows in that uh, bath, so rinse, dry, um, and brush out. So dematting definitely fits into that. But again, nails and ears, and that is pretty much what most groomers, what many groomers consider just a bath service. So then on the other bucket, right, we've got our haircut. So the haircut includes everything that's in the bath bucket, right? And then on top of that includes a few other tasks. I'm going to talk about it, but also includes a full haircut. Uh, so, um, and this is kind of a funny thing that includes a full body haircut. It doesn't matter. Uh, and this is more for the clients. If groomers take off this much hair or if we take off this much hair, if it's all over the body and we're trimming the feet and the face and everything, that's a full haircut. So that is considered to some many people to find it as a full groom or a full service groom. So the haircut bucket includes all of the things in the bath bucket plus the haircut and then typically also includes the five basic pre-grooming tasks. Well, you got the nails and the ears, right, as part of the bath bucket, right? But then you've got your front sanitary, your rear sanitary, right? That is clipping around the privates on the front side of the dogs or on the cats on the back side. And then also you've got your paw pad trim. That usually is included in the haircut bucket, but not normally in the bath only bucket. And um, there definitely are groomers who will do things a little differently and kind of cross over. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the things that I've seen out there. So one of the big crossovers, and this uh, is really handy and before holidays for you aspiring groomers, um, which is something called like a bath and basics or a bath and tidy. Uh, so this is where we go ahead, give a bath to a dog, um, and then just do some of those a la carte items that I mentioned. So of course, nails and ears, that's just basic of any uh, real grooming service, unless there's a problem that we can't do the nails or the ears, right? But then you have your a la carte items like the front and back sanitary trims. So you can go ahead and get a bath, right? But plus a front or rear sanitary trim or both, right? Or you can get a bath uh, plus a paw pad trim. And then there's other a la carte items that um, clients can go ahead and add on. Again, if you're doing your division of labor and you have bathers only in charge of a dog, you kind of have some scheduling issues, but most of the time you can get it to work is sometimes a client will say, you know what? I want front sanitary, back sanitary, and just eye trim. Um, and so that's a really quick thing that a groomer can do, even if there's a bather that's responsible for that dog from start to finish. Um, but usually you can work it out in a grooming salon um, that you can go ahead and offer basically a bath only and then some added a la carte services. So where is the divide? Uh, I, I will tell you from just my experiences, uh, I have seen some groomers add Let's, this is just an example, uh, armpit shave is part of their standard sanitary trim. So you say sanitary trim, they might include the armpits. Um, I do know some uh, groomers that as part of their bath only service, they will go ahead and clip her out the paw pads um, or they'll do the sanitary. So um, sometimes a client will come in, especially new clients, um, then they'll expect that a paw pad shave is supposed to be done as part of their bath. But because the salon that I'm in isn't doing that as part of their package, there's this disconnect. And then, of course, the client gets disappointed because they didn't get what they expected. So, again, we really have to make sure that we communicate what our service offering is, what's included in the bucket of offering, right, which bucket we're in, and make sure that we exceed expectations every time. Well, okay, guys, that's pretty much it in terms of the variations of what you'll see. Um, definitely join grooming forums if you're an aspiring groomer. You'll see some of these conversations taking place. Um, and if you are a groomer and watching this, uh, feel free to put down your comments down below um, because we want to start this conversation, especially for aspiring groomers, so they can kind of see what other groomers out there consider as part of maybe their basic bath um, or considered part of their full haircut and what's in between where they cross over in those buckets. Uh, so that you can go, know better to what to expect when you go out there in the world of grooming. Guys, if you like this video, remember to click that thumbs up. We really appreciate that. Thanks for subscribing uh, for more videos like this. We appreciate your time. We will see you soon.